Okay, you're watching this video because you are considering the Gazelle hub tent and you're wondering about its size. Not necessarily its open size, but how does this thing pack and how am I going to get to the trailhead and back or get camping, uh, get to the campsite and back with the different car options. So that's the purpose of this video. There's a million videos on the tent itself. I popped it up. I haven't used it yet, but I popped it up in my living room. Everything that, that I've read and seen about the tent is true. It's a really good quality tent. Uh, what you're seeing here are the boxes that come when you order it. I'm going to show you guys this. You can take a, sh a screenshot of um, the T4 Alpine or the T4 Hub Tent, the Overland Edition. Those are the dimensions of the tent. This thing shows up on your doorstep. I ordered it from Gazelle Tents Direct. And it's pretty big. Uh, the outer box is basically 67 inches. So it's over five feet tall. It's, you know, when you when you look at the box, oh, sorry, you look at the box, here's, here's your standard seven, inch, seven foot garage door. So it's it's massive. So it comes, it comes well packed. There's an outer box and then an inner box. And uh, here's the tent itself. This is a 2012 Prius. If you have a small hatchback, or if you don't have a hatchback, I don't know how it would work unless it goes on the roof. If you are fortunate enough to have a hatchback or a wagon or whatever, you can make it work. So here's, here's the tent itself. It's a nice, the Overland is, has a different bag. It's a little bit more weatherproof with the intentions of it storing on the outside, which is probably the, the way I will transport it most of the time when I'm not in the Prius. So with the with the seat down, it fits. What's interesting is I looked online and I was almost convinced I would have to go diagonal, but it doesn't look like I have to. Now the Prius, from the back of the seat to the end, it's about it's about the same as the box, 65 inches, I would say. If you if you're looking at how you're going to store this thing, 64 inches, you could probably get away with 64, 63. It, it is an oversized bag, and it and you can adjust it if you if you're really tight on space. It's girth. It's probably uh, they they have these two cinch down things here, cinch down uh, straps, which limit its girth. But you can see its diameter is about 10 inches, and uh, 14 inches at its worst place. But it's it can compact. It's very soft. You know, it's very compliant. So it's like a like a duffel bag or something. You can get it into some tighter areas, and it's pretty square. Let me show you how this thing would fit on the roof. So before we get to the roof, I am going to show you how much this thing weighs. Because this is probably the biggest caveat to getting it on a roof, especially an SUV or a van or something. You're going to have to get this thing over your head. So if you look, sorry for the shaking, it's a lot of weight. But it's uh, about 35 pounds. It's about 35 pounds. And uh, so you have to be comfortable getting that over your head. So let's go put it up on the roof rack. So this is a 5th Gen 4Runner typical SUV and I have the uh, a roof rack and this is how I'm going to end up transporting it. I'm just going to bungee it to the roof. This is a typical Thule roof rack and it fits up there quite nice. With the weatherproof bag here it's taped seams. Pretty heavy duty Cordura or whatever that material is. I'm not worried about that. Of course if you bungee it down you have to make sure that you the handle is kind of cinch down and I'm going to, I have these makeshift camp lights that I've mounted to the rack. I'll put something on top of the bolt here just to make sure that it doesn't rub and damage the tent, you know, make sure there's no sharp objects up here. But uh, anyway, let me back up so you can get a better view of how this will look. And that's pretty much it for you, for those of you that are worldwide, maybe, you know, a Forerunners Toyota product, it's, you know, fifth gen 2018, they're all the same, but any roof rack will work up there. Let me show you one last storage option. Okay, so finally, here's the tent in the back of the Forerunner. I just measured it from sidewall to sidewall. It's about 57 inches. And the tent's just too big 
to fit lengthwise. Now, what you see here is a bike rack. If you had a storage platform on the back of your car or SUV, it looks like you could actually get away with storing it back there, which can be another option for you. You can kind of see it with the width of the vehicle. The Forerunner is roughly, let's see here, about 70 inches wide. So it would fit nicely. It might block your tail lights, just depending, but probably not. So with the Forerunner, there's just no chance of it standing it upright or even side to side. Like the Prius, it's gonna end up having to go, it's gonna end up having to go in the back seat the same way. And you can see there that with a Forerunner, it's gonna fit nicely with one seat folded down, especially if you have, like in my case, a family, you need that back seat, you're gonna end up losing one spot for for the Gazelle. But anyway, hopefully you, find, hopefully you find that helpful. These were my biggest concerns with the tent. Everything else is perfect. It's just the pack size is, is big. That's probably its largest negative in its weight. Anyway, enjoy, take care, bye.